Hello, it's Mr. Robster, and we are going to do a quick little video on linear regression. And so in this example, Bob is experimenting in baking a cake at different temperatures and comparing the height of the cake. And so we have temperature T in degrees Fahrenheit, we've got 300 to 400, and then height in centimeters as shown. Which is the independent variable? So which is, I think of the independent variable as the one that controls. And so temperature is the one that controls the height. So it is the independent variable. And then it says create a scatter plot on the grid to the right and label the axis accordingly. Well, I already see it. I have height, I have temperature, it's labeled. And so if I put these values on, if I do 317.4, uh, so here and 320 and 17.3, and so on. I'm going to get these values here, 340 and 17.1 here, 360 and 16.2, oh, sorry, over here, and then 380 and 15.1 and 414.8. And so here is my scatter plot of all the scenarios. If I look at my calculator, I can also look at it here. So I put the values in. If I go to second y equals, which is a stat plot, I'm going to go to number one. I'm going to turn on my plot. I have x and y in my list here. I'm going to, that will be good. And then I'm going to zoom to number nine, which is zoom stat. It looks at my list and it makes an appropriate window. And so there is my scatter plot. And so I want to think about the direction, strength, and trend and outliers. Well, the direction, it is, it is a negative direction because it's going downwards. It is the strength. It looks fairly strong. I would say it looks fairly strong. And it is a linear pattern. And there are no outliers when I look at these values here. So it looks fairly strong. There's no outliers and there is a linear trend. There might be a bit of a curve there, but I can also think that there's a linear trend. On your GDC, find the equation of the line of best fit to four decimal places. Writing your answer with these variables at T and H. So when I look at this, if I want to do that, I'm going to go to stat and I want to do a calculation. So I'm going to toggle to the right. And I'm going to do linear regression. Now, if I look at number four and number eight, they are exactly the same. It's the only the order. So when I, on number four, A will be the slope, whereas B will be the slope here. So either way, it doesn't matter. And when I click on number four, it's asking me for my X list, my Y list. And one of the things that I'm going to do is if I recognize in my Y equals, oh, let me change my mode to, to function mode. All right, let me start this again. So here's our y equals. I'm going to clear off my equations. And so what I'll do when I go to my stat calculator, I'm going to do my linear regression. This store regression equation, if I put y1 in there, if I put y1 in there, it will take the regression equation and put it into the calculator. The last thing I'm going to do before I do this, well, let's go through and see what we see. Okay, and I'm going to get r squared and r. Here's all I think. If your calculator didn't get r and r squared, you, need, you want to get that. I'm going to go to mode, and I'm going to scroll down. Your calculator may not have all these options, but you're going to see some, some arrows down here. You're going to go down until you see stat diagnostic, and you want that to be on. So that will give you r and r squared. All right, so let me try this again. So I'm going to go calculate number four, and we'll put the regression equation into y1 so I can use it. And let's calculate it. And so what I can say is that t is equal to negative 0.0293, because it says four decimal places. This is four decimal places. h plus 26.5. Seven, okay, and so I have to use T and H as asked, and so this is my equation. And if I look at my graph here, you can clearly see that there is 
my graph as such. Okay, and we sketch it onto the axis. And then the last thing it says, find the R value, the Pearson's moment correlation coefficient, sometimes called R, sometimes called the correlation co coefficient. And if you go to our calculations, we did see it for, when we look at this, my R value is right here. So R is equal to negative 0 0.958, the three significant figures. And what does this value mean? That's a good question. Like, we just calculated, but what does it mean? Well, if I look at this, I can have the R value ranges from negative 1 to 1. Okay, so R is always between 1 and negative 1. If R equals 0, and it's a measure of how strong of a, of a linear relationship there is. So if it's 0, that means there's no correlation at all. If it is positive 1, that means it's a positive slope and it's the perfect correlation. So all the lines, all the points fit exactly on the same line. Similar with negative 1, they fit exactly on a line in a negative line though. And so the negative and positive dictates the direction of the slope. And then all values in between, <clears throat> it goes from strong negative correlation, which is pretty tightly linear, to weak to no, to weak positive, to a strong positive, to a perfect positive. And so those are our values. We can also look here. Here is another diagram that shows all our different correlations. So this is, this is point one. It looks like a big blob, so there's very little correlation. This is negative point two. Again, it's just a blob, very little association between the x and y. Here's a point three. It's getting to be more linear. This is the negative 0.4, so it's getting to be more of a linear uh, relationship. 0.5, a positive, so it's again, it's getting tighter to the line. 0.6, negative, it's a negative, and it's getting tighter to the line, and so on, and so on. So here's 0.9. This looks very linear, a very linear type scenario. And so that is our correlation, our Pearson's moment correlation coefficient, the R value, is a measure of how linear the data looks. And it is always, always, always linear, okay? R values are only about linear relationships. Okay, well, that's what we have for R value for now. There'll be more in the next video.